All right, Title Nation, what's up? Got our board briefing Thursday, November 19th for Open Gym. Warm up, we got 40 skips, 40 scissor jumps, 40 in and out jumps, 40 180 jumps. This is all doing with the skipping ring, okay? Links are posted. Um, we have our shoulder prep and hip work coming up. Uh, for that, we got 30 air squats, 30 Kazakh squats, 10 wall or pole squats, okay? And then we got two minutes of uh, hip and pole um, shoulder stretch, and then two minutes of that, 10 shoulder sequences, okay? Um, 10 kickups to a handstand hold for three to five seconds, or pike box holds, okay? Then we got our workout of the day. We got 24 double unders, 20, or sorry, 12 single arm dumbbell front squats, 12 strict handstand push-ups, 12 single, under, single arm dumbbell front squats on the other arm. So we're gonna switch every time we do 12, okay? And then 24 double unders. So that's one complete round. We're gonna perform one round every four minutes with a total of five rounds. Okay, so every four minutes on the four minutes, we'll be starting the, to repeat the rounds over and over again for five rounds. All right, so skipping work or warm up work, we're just looking for heart rate elevation and coordination. All right, so a lot of coordination going on here. Skipping, turning around, scissor jumps when you're skipping, in and out jumps when you're skipping. Lots of fun to practice this stuff. Okay, good old air squats, just warming up the hips. Let's make sure that we're squatting below parallel. If we're squatting below, if we're doing air squats, good time to start practicing squatting below parallel, standing all the way up. The open's coming, so we want to keep our standards high for workouts, movements, anytime we're moving. Okay, uh, cosmic squats, just we can do those with the pole as well, just to help you get a little bit lower. Toe on the ground, toe off the ground. There's a couple of different trains of thought. I'm not too fussed on how you do that, okay? Pole squat, just pulling ourselves down into a little bit lower squat, stretching adductors, stuff like that. Uh, this is a real good stretch to keep your, get your shoulders open a little bit. Link's posted for this. Thing here is we want to keep our rib cage down, okay? Um, really good shoulder warm up, get the, get the blood flowing through our chest arms, shoulders, delts, all that good stuff. And then a little bit of stability work here, right? And then our workout. So basically we're doing interval work. We're gonna get a heart rate real high here. And then it's gonna, we're gonna have, we're gonna try to have um, a minute rest every round, somewhere in there, minimum 30 seconds rest. So if we're getting less than 30 seconds rest, we need to make some adjustments on the fly to the workout, less than the repetition somewhere along the line, okay? Um, so we're looking for about a minute rest here, so which is allow us to keep a high heart rate, a little bit, come down a little bit, get our heart rate back up. All right, so first couple rounds will seem fairly normal and then um, all that stuff is gonna compound on each other and our heart rate's gonna get elevated real quickly, all right? so along with some strength and skill work in the middle of it. So we really gotta concentrate and focus on what's going on, right? Um, keep our standards high on the squats, get our butts down below parallel or get our hips down below parallel and handstand push-ups, keep them strict, right? Full lockout, feet on the wall at the top, touching our head at the bottom. Uh, no going up and falling off the wall and then kicking the wall with one foot, counting the rep. Let's keep those standards real high today. All right, have fun with the workout.